What's up, travelers? This is Prince Nix coming to you from the Cineverse. I'm out here in Memorial Hermann Park, and today I want to talk about how to achieve your goals so you can take over the world. Let's get right into it. So firstly, I want to talk about why do we set goals? And if you want to learn more about this topic, you can read an excellent book by Kathleen Chanelli uh, called Achieving Goals, which covers this topic in depth. But firstly, what I want to talk about is why do we set goals? And the example I would give you is think about a car. If I told you go get in a car and drive, you would drive around if you had no destination, you'd have no place to go, you'd have no place to get. You would drive around till you ran out of gas and then the car ultimately stopped. And that's similar to your goals. If you drive around without, or you go around without any type of destination or any type of mark you're trying to hit, you'll simply just get worn out and get tired and you won't actually continue or follow through with your objectives or your goals. We can set goals also, and isn't it funny? How sometimes when even when we set goals, we don't follow through. And I want to talk about that today and how we can get around some of those problems and how you can follow through on your goals. So how do we set our goals? Now, the best way I would say to set our goals is by what I like is the SMART system, which is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Now, using this criteria, we have something or a basis to set our goals. But let's break that down even further. We need to break goals down into a tiered system to allow us to accomplish them in a practical way. So how do we break them down? Firstly, at the top we have our mission statement. Now, our mission statement is our overall objective for our company or our business. So let's use XYZ Retailer. And XYZ Retailers, their goal is to become the biggest retailing company in the entire world. Now, with them wanting to become the biggest retail company in the entire world, how do we break that down into something that we can actually use and take action on? Now, firstly, we have to set goals. Now, for being the biggest retailer in the world, one of your goals might be what? Open 50 stores in North America, say. Now that we're going to open 50 stores in North America, we break that down even further to an objective. An objective of the 50 stores in North America would be open a store in, say, Los Angeles, Houston, New York, anywhere, Chicago, any of these places, that's the objective. Now that we've broken it down to objective, we can move to the next tier, which is task. The small tasks that need to be done to accomplish the objective. Now, small tasks may include finding the real estate, hiring the people, personnel, staff, managers, um, doing target market research, all these type of small things that have to go into opening a store in a new city. Now, by breaking these tasks down this way, you can see by how accomplishing the small tasks at the bottom, we're able to move up the ladder and accomplish the bigger goals by, by setting goals, objectives, and then breaking them down into tasks. Now, another advantage, advantage to breaking your goals down or breaking your objectives down into tasks is delegation. You're able to delegate the smaller tasks so you can focus on more big picture stuff. So while you can focus on delegating tasks like call or hire project and staff managers and things of that nature, you can focus on how will you accomplish the next objective which might be opening a location in another city. By doing this, we're able to break our big goals or our big abstract mission statements or our big abstract goals down to small chunks where we can have actionable strategies. It's almost like, it's like Henry Ford says, nothing's particularly difficult if you break it down into many small jobs. And that's what we want to do with our business. We want to break down the big goals and the big tasks into small, small tasks so we can delegate and it's easy for us to accomplish and it allows our workflow to move a lot faster. So to wrap this up, we need our objectives to be smart, which is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. We also need to break those goals down into a tiered system, which is our mission, our goals, our objectives, and finally the task or the practical steps we need to take in order to achieve our long-term or our big picture goals. Now, I hope that video has been helpful to you. Um, if there's any topics you want to hear me discuss on this video blog, please send a message to this email or leave me a comment below. Also, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.